And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Karma Thresh Control. Uh, really fun deck to play, deck that we've had a lot of success with recently. It's got a, it's, it's going to be tough though. It has, um, it had some really good openers. You know, we had the opening act of Draven Control going nine and one, Bannerman Zed going nine and one. This is going to be a, you know, those are some tough acts to follow for Karma Thresh Control. We're going to give it a try. This is my favorite version of Karma decks. Karma plus Ezreal is, is pretty popular right now. There's a lot of people playing uh, Karma Ezreal decks, but I like uh, pairing Karma with Shadow Isles so you can start doubling up Grasp the Undying and especially Withering Whale and spells like that. Um, so we have one Will of Ionia in here that should not be in here. Or I said last time that I want to replace that with the box. So there we go. Let's replace that. And uh, yeah, so this is a, a pretty slow deck. We have the two best three drops in the format with Frenzied Skitter and Shadow Assassin to help us out. Um, but yeah, we're basically starting at, at three, as you can see. <clears throat> Here we go. Let's get right into it. Let's rank up Sunday. We are rank 17 after those... Uh, great winning streaks. 9 out of 10, twice in a row. We'll see how we do. This deck did give me my very first... Um, my very first 9-1 record in Masters rank. Uh, we're doing the, the 10 matches. It was... I think it was a week ago. I think it was like the last rank up Sunday. Or... A, I guess it was like the day after. It was like a Monday. Maybe like six days ago or so. So, a Braum deck. Ruination is actually probably great against Braum, to be honest. It's probably great. We don't need Awakener. We don't really need these other three cards. Awakener is the kind of card that I want to. I want very late. I don't want it in my opener like this. I want it just really, really late. Let me show you what I can do. Delicious. So my plan here is play Shadow Assassin to draw a card, have Solitary Monk pick up Shadow Assassin. It's possible I should save, like I'm definitely going to save one, well I want to save one, I'm not just going to say I definitely will, but I want to save one Solitary Monk. Uh, because Solitary Monk picking up like Rekindler later on can be pretty amazing. Like basically the longer the game goes the easier it is going to be for us to win. We have an amazing hand for the late game. It's just how how late can we make it go? Hey, what's up, Rex? Watch anything good lately? Um, I just started... Actually, just started yesterday... Yeah. No, day before? No, yesterday. I started watching the... The Batwoman series from the CW. Watched the first episode last night after the, the stream, like making dinner and stuff like that. It was pretty good. I'm looking forward to some more of that. I'll probably do that again tonight. Uh, My turn. Mobile Axe doesn't show this deck? It, it does for me. Here, I'll... Um, this is the code also, if you... That's the code for the deck. If that... If that'll help.
Darn it, they just passed back. No, I got so greedy with... I got so greedy. Alright, that I should have just cast the Ruination right then. Hmm, that was me getting really greedy. That could likely cost me this. Um... Yeah, that... Alright, that was, that was a really dumb decision by me. I thought they would maybe play something. They didn't. Alright, so how do we clean this up? So if I just cast Ruination, they likely cast enough creatures to kill me. Right? It's like we're likely dead if I just cast Ruination now. Alright, that was... Look how we have I just... The turn before this, just the passing... My opponent... My opponents played this very well, and they punished me really bad for making that very greedy decision. I love taste of Good luck! Have fun! Show me your best! <laughs> you cannot escape. This is not me dying, though. Now oh, that's me dying. Uh, do, 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 do. My path is clear. Ouch. Wow. Wow. I guess I ran into that. Oh, wow. Man, I, I'd mess this game up so bad that other turn, as as I've, you may have heard me mention that before. So basically, I don't think I can ruination because I think if I ruination, they just play other other units and then go straight to combat and kill me. So I, I think ruination's off the table. And if that's the case, the only thing that's on the table is karma. Karma with Health Potion and Vile Feast. Alone, as they 
truly are. Fast as wind, light as air. Where there is life, there is hope. Because, as we all know, where there is life, there is hope. Do one to all battling units. It's gonna kill that, kill that, kill that. <sighs> kill this. This attack puts us down to one right now. I don't really have any reason not to play this. Rest. Collect your thoughts. But I showed my hand. I guess that's, that's the reason not to play it, is to not show my hand. Sometimes I see her, just needs warm smile. That's the wrong creature to do that to. That was the wrong creature. That creature was staying alive. That was like the only creature not to play that card on. It's literally the only creature not to do that. That's a great card. I will play my part. Hmm. Yes, you. Can we fight through infinite mighty poros? Things have overwhelm. So. Seen one unit die so far. So this is.
Don't know if that's worth a deny or not, to be honest. But I feel like they've run out of spells. Man, the late game of the deck that we're like this, the late game of this deck is just insane. What do you want? Yeah, we could have killed Braum. Yeah, we could have killed Braum by hitting it with the grasp. Yep. Very true. Too many creatures. Gosh, I have too many creatures. one's entered created this card i don't know what just entered i don't know we're just gonna block all these things I'm really glad braum doesn't have overwhelm eh, it doesn't really matter uh, yeah i guess yeah i just never use the orc i'm just not used to playing games with the oracle eye i guess That's true, yeah, I, I don't use that thing. Wow, what a what a crazy game. That one, I made that a lot more difficult than it needed to be. We only went back to 17? I was at, so I was at 17. And then we didn't play a match in like 20 minutes. So I guess we went to 18, I win, and we just go back to 17. We were at 17, and then we win. We're still at 17. I 
make it difficult. Now, it, oh, then it said 18 on that thing? Rough. This thing goes, this thing goes. Uh, we'll keep Skitter. Yeah, making life difficult on me. Just like Harvey, who I'm petting right now, but she's like just a little too far away, so I'm really straining, reaching over here. <laughs> and I'm like barely, barely petting just a little, a little piece of her that I can reach, but she's still so happy. Seal delivered. I'm yours. Well, that's a good champion. Trindamir definitely super scary. Also, glad I have this vengeance that I can just save for a Trindamir. Wait, that doesn't work like that. Trindamir, actually, I need more than a vengeance. I need double vengeance. My favorite deck. Um, I honestly really liked that Draven Control that we played earlier. Uh, that one. That was really good. Um, I'm not. I don't usually. I'm not one that usually has favorites, to be honest. I am one that does. That I. I just appreciate decks for what they are. I enjoy playing all sorts of different stuff. But as far as like best decks, that's kind of like what we're doing today and these last these last three decks in particular that we've played are are some of the best. I don't want to attack with the Skitterers because I don't want them to be able to trade with the Archer because I want to be able to use the Archer. Come here. Come on. There you go. Puppy's jealous. I'm petting Harvey. You can jump right up here, puppy. I'm not stopping you. You can jump right up here. Ionia speaks through me. They're out there. I'll spot them. I'm not stopping you. I don't know why... Oh, I guess the 3-1 doesn't attack because of the 3-4. I was like, why don't they attack with the 3-1? 8 mana. So if I play Withering Whale, I only have 3 mana. It's not really enough to do anything. I guess the Awakener. Steady hand, unwavering heart. No. Don't kill my karma, that's rude. No. <laughs> There's karma. No. No. That's a great card. That is a great random card to get. It's always good when you get cards that are in your deck. 
It's always good. So we know they drew some unit with 5 plus power. Oh. Hmm. It's the Ruination deck, huh? I guess I bounce this thing. That is not a good card. You win some, you lose some. Ours is the will of Ionia. Mm. I knew, and now I am. Cool head. That card's difficult to deal with. I don't know if I should be playing this Awakener, honestly. Heart and mind as one. My wisdom is now my strength. So basically, I'm worried about another Ruination, which is something they could definitely have. Now, you know, Mist Call may hit the Awakener instead of hit Karma. I smell a fight! Thirteen mana. Winter, take you. All right, so my plan is to be able to give this Awakener elusive next round. And then let's see, it attacks for six. That's good. That's eight. If I do this, that's another that's a plus six. So that's fourteen. Put them down to two. From within. What are they gonna have? They could have um they could have vengeance. I think I'd probably just let this happen. I don't think I should use the twin disciplines. Okay, good. We fight for one frail yard. I know, and you're always bragging about it. Sweet. Karma Thresh Control 2 and oh, What's up, Yud? Yud, we have been ranking up today. We're now at rank 13. Highest we've ever been. Let's go. Rank 13. We're 20 and 2. In the last 22, we rank in. We rank in puppies. And one of those two losses was my fault. 
from super late game sequencing. I messed up. With the Draven control, we should have been 10-0. Yeah, this is the real rank up Sunday, and like the last rank up Sunday. Just rank down. Yeah, finally playing serious. Ruinations are not very good. Night falls. Um, um, it's too late for you. No, nothing to do this turn. So I don't really want to cast the Withering Whale, because that takes up too much mana. I mean, I guess I could. Taps me out. This has not been a good draw, though. Oh my gosh. Our, look at our last four draws. Withering Whale, Withering Whale, Withering Whale, Ruination. That is horrible. There is hope. Not good at all. I need no weapon. Like, if I had to say, like, what are my two worst cards? Probably Withering Whale and Ruination. Those are probably my two worst cards. Uh, yeah, I guess I guess Mobile Addicts has not updated the cards because yeah, Rekindler still says six mana when it costs seven mana now. Fast as wind, light as air. I'm expecting our wind streak to be snapped here, but I guess you never know. Anything can happen. Bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. Yes. Wind streak is over. Ionia speaks through me. Thing they probably can't. Uh, I guess they, they definitely could kill Karma and save their Karma. 
shouldn't say they probably can't because they definitely can. Hopefully that's their only deny. I'm gonna play Ruination and kill those, kill those things. That'd be nice. They have one more card in hand than we do, and their battlefield is much, much better. The Order rewards its faithful. Uh, resolve. Let me use their deny too early. And now I have two more cards in hand than we do, though. Awesome. No follow up karma. No follow up Heimerdinger. Very, very good. Doesn't mean we're going to win. Just want to make that clear. But that, that turn went as good as it could for us. What if they had a champion that whenever it leveled up, it actually got weaker? Like the power toughness went down. I knew. Clap, clap. Strength from within. What do they discard? Health potion. Yeah, we're we're a control deck. We're playing against the control deck also. So yeah, both both decks here are control decks. Sorry, puppy, my tie was in the way. Oh, a draw three. That gives them 10 cards, though. So untap, draw another card. Don't play anything. Draw another card. No, don't play anything. Darn it, they played something. Because they have the maximum number of cards, so I wanted them just to draw, and then um, they would have had to burn that, that top card. Elusive mid-range. Okay. What's your deck like? I don't know of a an elusive mid-range deck. My well, is clear. we've played one with like Braum before. That was pretty cool. Strength and conviction. Twin Disciplines was a great draw because they have a lot of damage based stuff. Like that's their removal besides Will of Ionia that they've already wasted. Alright, we got them down to one. Okay. Yeah, elusive cards are good. The answer lies within. Where there is life, there is hope. Ooh, deny is great also. Peace begins within. Will 
will bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. So I keep seven mana up. I only have five more to spend here. I don't want to play Karma pre-combat because I wanted to go straight to attacks with these. Pretty good here. <laughs> yeah, how's how's life as a homeschool dad now, Rex? How's how's that going? Yeah, I thought that we were definitely losing this. Absolutely, I thought we were losing this. Ours, the will of Ionia. Whoa, that's an aggressive attack. I will learn from you. Oh, right, because I had lifesteal. Okay, never mind. That was not an aggressive. That was a correct attack because I had lifesteal, but... Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, basically everything went perfect for us. Like, since I was saying that. Like, the Ruination turn, then they had nothing else, and then they had nothing for a few turns, and it just went perfect. We're top ten. Top ten... Top 10. You're welcome, Freelancer. Yeah, feel free to ask questions. Always try to answer questions in the chat. Let's see. Timo Dinger. Gone. Gone. And Karma will stay. Yuck. Looks like we got some inside the box thinking. Basically, got to kill the one wanting and drain this clump of lumps. I walk my path alone. But I, you know, I didn't want my one one still alive because I didn't want to bounce it with the solitary monk. Yeah, so this this looks like a dedicated um, puff cap deck. 
you know, they're playing these Clump of Wumps, Puff Cap Peddler. This is a dedicated Puff Cap deck. We just got eight puff caps. We got eleven puff caps. Do you have Monster Hunter also? Another day in the field. I'll pick him, you plan him, kid. Could do worse than creating a ruination. Could do worse than that. Success is planting your mushrooms. Hut, two, three, four. <laughs> Timo's so cool. If I block Karma, yeah, we're going to just block with Karma. Then we can bring Karma back with Rekindler. What is this? <laughs> what is... What is this? We each died, then found home. Order, entropy. Oh, okay. They had they were cheating. They stacked their cards to hide them. They cheat. Yeah, we getting puff capped real hard. That's a great one. Wow. We've hit some good ones with this karma. That's a good card to draw. I'll be very surprised if we somehow lose this game. Even though it's probably possible. But I'll still be very surprised if it happens. Gonna just cast a Withering Whale this next turn. Oh, another good one. What a surprise. Wait, passed? I didn't want to pass. What are we doing over here? I was like clicking okay because of the, the puff cap thing. I don't want to pass. All right, well, I guess we just passed. The answer lies within. Come 
Minus five? Five buff caps on that one card? Put on me mask, secure me tail, stop the day. We're, we're still, like, in great shape. Like, we're gonna win this pretty easily. But it's fun to complain. <laughs> okay, now that is scary. No, it's not. I have two Will of Ionias. That's not scary at all. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Or once, am I right? And I forgot that gets doubled anyway. So that, that thing's only going to be a 5-5. Five five, so now like, it's not scary at all anyway. We are going to have a whole lot of mushrooms, but we're going to be at 20 life. And like every turn we're going to be at 20 life. Basically. You cannot escape. But basically, they have to give me 17 puff caps on like one card to kill me. That's not enough. All this is doing is just gain 8 life, and I'm denying that. I don't even know if that's worth denying. It's just a gain 8 life. It's probably not even worth it. Alright, I'll just gain 5. The reason why I'm doing this is so that uh, I can just clear off some room from my hand so I can create 4 spells. Cool. Get, get our deny back. That's good. Two, three, four. Uh, two, three, four. We about to be four zero. I was gonna say unless they gave us twenty puff caps on one card. Puff caps. That is like the worst matchup for puff caps. Like the deck with just tons of life gain. Number seven, single digits. Single digits, rank seven. Let's go. Yeah, our, our Poe is only trying to give us food. I don't think they haven't announced when the next set's going to be released. Has not been announced yet. All right, control mirror. Withering Whale is my worst possible card to draw. We want, sh like, Shadow... That's, that's not a bad card. We want, like, Shadow Assassin. That'd be a really good one. Well, the good news is we only have one more Withering Whale to draw, even though it's the worst card in our deck. Bad news, we've drawn two. Good news, there's only one more to draw. Denounce magic. Stand 
in judgment. Ooh, that is awesome, getting karma. That is awesome. No, I wanted them to play Lux, and then I was gonna Ruination. Let the light guide you. But now they have, now they have Deny Mana. A beacon in battle. Oh, no, 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 block. I am I need to. Ah, uh, I'm messing up. Yeah, so basically I just I just spent five minutes to do absolutely nothing. That's what I just did right there. Five mana do absolutely nothing. That just gets rid of like that my banked mana. That was very bad. So not next turn, but the turn after, I'll have Ruination with Deny back up. By the light. And right now we're just kind of treading water before that. The order rewards its faithful. To corrupt the mafia from within. Your demacia is nothing like what I know. Hmm. I guess I can force them to use the deny right now and still bank three mana and then have it with den with deny back up the next turn. Cause yeah, it was pretty obvious that they had a deny in hand.
All right, so they got a big man advantage now. Contain the arcane. Yeah, that card's good. My path is clear. Hope they can't kill my 6-6. Six -six. Next turn I'll have Twin Disciplines to keep it alive. I'll also have Miss Call. They could bring it back. Hope we get to just untap like this. That's bad. There is life, there is hope. Oh, I get to attack. Um, I don't think I attack, though. That's good. Steel over Them having karma, bad. Me having karma, good. That bad. So if I if I revive it, will it be the six six life linker, or will it be the two two? I walk my path alone. Does anybody know? We, all right, we have a no idea, and I believe it would have the original card text. All right, both, both educated guesses were it'd be a 6-6. Six six. Awesome. All right, Graveyard gets rid of the status effects. Cool. Magic stops with me. Better stop purifying. I'm guessing this is a barrier card. Single combat.
Oh no. We should too. This is looking just fine until single combat then Lux. This is bad now. Whatever the cost. Their spells are doubled with Karma. Makes that a lot better with Lux. This is a crazy combination, these two. Just hope it's not burst spell so I can deny. Good. I hope they don't have another one of those. Uh, yeah, yeah, I basically have all the cards now. I have all the champions and... I don't, you know, like I don't have every single common and rare and stuff, but I have wild cards that if there's something I need, I can craft. Stop having more spells. Don't have anything else. No. It's cheating spending six mana and really like four mana. Getting both of those. Please don't have another one of those. Just pass back. Pass back. No. What? Why would they not bounce the lifelink creature? They gotta have another removal spell. Oh, because they have purify. Alright. All right, we four and one. No, that was fun being in the top 10 for a little bit. Now all the way back to 22. It's going to take forever to get back up there. They always like show like your your last ranking what it was. What what mistake? Like, I just don't remember. I'm not saying there wasn't one. I just don't remember. Oh, the forgot block. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if that cost us the game, honestly. I don't know if we would have made that block if we would have one or not. I don't know. I mean, that, that didn't help us, obviously. We would have been in a better position if we would have blocked, but I don't, I don't know if that would have been an enough to turn it around. That's impressive. I knew, and now I am.
Seems like a pretty decent hand over there. I wish I had one more mana that I'd be able to Ruination next turn. If you want, you can jump up here. You're so polite. You wait for me to, to tell you that it's okay to jump up here before you do. You're so polite. Harvey, stop scratching. Couldn't quite stay alive. If I had one more mana that previous turn, would have been Ruination. So close. Wearing down. 36 games in. We are wearing down now. We got to... We got to number seven. But now if we win all the rest of the games today, we won't get nearly that high again. Yeah, I've got to hang in there. Good call, yeah. We got four more matches. i 
Tread lightly, strike hard. We go where the War Mother bids. Hmm. Four four lonely poro. It'll be a pretty, even if this works, it's still a pretty big Mighty Poro. and hearth guard so eight mana only the finest serve Bleh. This thing is six six. Dang. Stop. Stop scratching this chair. Stop. Hmm. I'm gonna just try staying alive. Now this, this blocks aren't good for me. But just a couple more turns we'll have uh, Karma doubling up. All these spells.
I was hoping by doing that that they would maybe play a creature on their turn. So I'd be able to play the, this Haunted Relic. So basically, we just gotta survive this turn. We'd have then like double Withering Whale is gonna be amazing. Survive this turn easier said than done. It's too late for you. 10, 14, 15. Right now, this is putting me down to three. I guess I have to cast this. Go down to two. Now I don't have now I don't have the double withering whale though, so this is it's gonna be more difficult. We do have that 12-12 lifesteal. I should have just led with this Haunted Relic and just attack with those things and let them block. I should have done that. Or I could have just gone for the kill with this. Strength and conviction. And twin disciplines it, you know. I should still be fine though. So it should kill that, kill that. Um, block this normally. Life steal these things. Throw that in front just in case. Probably need to life steal this just in case. Yeah, we survived that turn, and now we're gaining a whole lot of life. That's the thing. Once once you get enlightened with karma, you just gain so much life. It's ridiculous. Basically, uh, the company Six More Vodka is the company that designed almost all of the art for this for this game. At least for this set. Um. Try. 
to call themselves Trifarian. All right, all right, fair enough, fair enough. We'll bring peace to I could I could go for lethal with the twin disciplines on this. Only the finest serve. Like I could have before this. Obviously it's too late now. But they had a lot of mana, had a bunch of cards that we've seen, like Frostbite cards from them. Chomp, chomp, chomp. We have a lot of blocking. I just can't, can't get through. <laughs> it's all lifelink. All this lifelink blocking. We're already at we're already at twenty anyway. Um I don't have space for all these. Oh, my rekindler. Stand together. I will learn from you. Um oh, how do I want to do this? So we lose six, gain six, 13, 17. that 
one runoff or two. Because they're probably looking for um I have too many cards. I need to just cast this heal health potion. So they're probably looking for an elusive. Um, Poro. Hey, Zanakin. Yeah, I've, I've moved on for for at least for at least a a while. For the. You know, for the foreseeable future, for for a little bit. Um, this game, Legends of Runeterra. Yeah, if you if you um, if you haven't heard of this, I know you said you were taking took a break and stuff. If you haven't heard of this game, this game's amazing. It's been out for about two months now, and so it's a great time to to get started and build the collection. And everything because there's just one set, um, but it's a whole lot of fun to play. And uh, I wrote in that document of why I think it's a better game than Magic. So I recommend you. Recommend you checking out this one. All right, five and two. So we're gonna be playing three more. You're welcome. Yeah, this game's free to play. It'll be whenever it gets fully released. Some sometime the first half of this year. Um, it'll be on mobile as well. Fiora Garen. And it's very interesting, much more balanced to the magic. I think just better than magic in general. Like it's like magic has so many like just the amount of like non games you play with magic and everything, and this game is just so much more balanced or it's much more skill testing and uh the games are also close and enjoyable to play. I may just take all of these. Let's get rid of this. I think I'll take those. I don't know about this deny. It's the one that I don't know if like all their stuff's gonna be burst speed and the deny is just not gonna do anything. Um I don't know anything about Artifact. Alright, Yudden. Have a good night. I need one more mana. Dealing with this Fiora is going to be annoying, to say the least. Safeguard our citizens. Annoying, to say the least. All, like, the barrier cards are all burst speed and everything, right? So I guess I should have got rid of this deny. Good time to have the box. Uh, for Demacia, that's a spell that we can't deny. Head to the 
space. I never hope. Try me. In the name of our land. Can't fight on an empty stomach. Nine damage. By force of will. I figure. I have no east wood. for new spells that's a good one it would only put me down to one mana left have more mana than that oh no we have too many cards now no that vengeance would have been good a two uh that's annoying that vengeance would have been good oh this and the spider this thing isn't even good because we can't we can't actually attack we can't actually block with any of this stuff soldier to me Uh, what am I doing? Stand for what's right. Do not waver. Defend our banner. Hasn't been my best play to game. I'm wearing down these last few games. I'm wearing down. Wearing down. down. Try me. Cost. 
So that's 15 damage. without worry. This deck just plays really difficult, you know, really long, difficult games. Maybe it's not the best deck to play fourth. We're not dead yet. You know, it seems like it. We're not dead yet. Karma can do some crazy stuff. Harvey, you have to stop clawing at my chair. The dog's getting on my nerves. It's like this is a you know a nice chair and she just keeps clawing at it. Teaches more than open eyes. The answer lies within you. My wisdom is now my strength. Perfect. Um, I mean, honestly, we're, we're in a pretty good spot now. They cast this. All right, final answer. I wanted to get the extra blocker. a good turn I guess yeah because then they kill my life linker I mean we're still just fine we should still just be fine
We got a backup karma, yeah. We got this. Okay. No one goes hungry. By force of will, it's too late for you. That did hurt. A lifelink creature being gone. Um... Yeah, I guess I didn't need to cast the Withering Well pre-combat. I, I basically I was a little worried about the the other thing, but I guess it didn't really have the thing. I was yeah, I was worried about the that two one, but it didn't have Challenger, so I didn't really need to do to do that to cast a pre-combat. So, yeah, it was unnecessary. Give this plus zero plus three a couple of times. And just block. We should have this. Take a little bit, though. Discipline and steel. Plain Solitary Monk bouncing Shadow Assassin. We do kind of have an awkward hand. So if I, hmm, we'll play Solitary Monk, and then replay Shadow Assassin. That's not really worth it. Nothing's really worth it. Like I cast the box and I just kill this protege. I guess we'll do that. Like that's not really worth it either. So yeah, I mean, all, all we do is just kill this one Lauren Protégé. It's, you know, the box can be so much better, but trading one for one is going to be beneficial when we have, you know, Inside of Ages that gets four spells. So I, I guess we'll just trade one for one. Even though it could be so much better. All right, six and two.
Rank them back up. Got to have a lot of wins for each loss when you're up here at this high of a rank. Get a different hand. I don't really like any of these cards. Don't need Rekindler for a long time. There we go. That's a good card. Uh, if, yeah, if you had to sub out Thresh, maybe maybe playing Hecarim. If you have Hecarim. Gives you, you know, just another another threat to end games. Gives you something else to hit with Rekindler. That could be an option. Thanks, Josh. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Hmm. This Garen's gonna be trouble. Garen gonna be trouble. A cooking. No. Oh, Take the spider. Can't fight on an empty stomach. <laughs> all right. Well, this thing just kept them from attacking with all those other creatures. But I didn't block because I don't want to get back an Unleashed Spirit with this miscall. I want to 100% get back Karma. So I didn't block. It's actually not that bad. Steel Tempest is good. Stun that, stun that Fiora, but then also, you know, like if they try to kill something with Fiora, we recall our ally. All right, so eight mana. It's kind of this Garen I probably need to worry about more, right? Block with that recall. So that's three, four. All right, so I'm definitely spending four mana this turn. What am I doing with the other four mana? 
Nothing. It's either play spider. This will play spider. It's either play spider or bank it. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna stun Fiora recall here because I'm gonna stun this. Um, and recall the rekindler. Because I want to put a rekindler back in my hand. They, they could definitely have, like, Whirling Death, though. So maybe I just don't do the recall. Hmm. See if they whirling death. This is kind of awkward. This is kind of awkward. Oh, they, yeah, I just played into judgment. Uh, yep. Just played into judgment. Alright, well. Played into that. Maybe I should have just recalled and then seen what they did. I mean, we could have had a karma die. I was going to be able to get another Karma anyway. I guess I'd need to just recall. Alright, yeah. It gets more difficult, this. Wow, getting all these rare up upgrades. This Platinum Chest was sweet, though. That was a great Platinum Chest. Alright, one more. What deck are we playing? Karma Thresh Control. <laughs> Tell you, my, my brain's getting kind of fried after this. Uh, you really don't need to spend anything to get a deer, decent tier 1 or tier 2 deck. Uh, you just need to... Just need a... You know, basically like two weeks of playing. You'll have it. You know, maybe less. Um... If you don't, if you know, if you don't mind grinding a little bit, like, yeah, this this game, you really don't need to spend any money at all on this game. It's awesome. You can you can grind everything. Basically, like one, like five six weeks, you'll you can get the entire set. You get everything in about five six weeks. Um, you get basically everything. I got it. I got every. I guess maybe maybe six or seven. I got everything in five weeks, but I also spent some money. But I had everything after five weeks. Uh, full release. All that I know right now. Get rid of this. Full release is going to be first half of 2020. That's what they've announced. So that's, you know, another three months. So sometime in the next three months. First half of 2020. And when they full release, they will have it available on mobile also. So this will start being available on mobile, which is going to be great. Um, I, I'm expecting another set to, to come out kind of soon. Yeah, you've overhand says I've played about four games a day for two months and I have a lot of tier one decks. Let none disturb my meditation. So yeah, and that's just only four games a day. Soldier, that's like to me. you know, thirty minutes. Forty minutes or so. Strike hard. Yeah.
yeah no yeah get yeah get this game instead spare cash it, I, um this is this is the game to go instead of hearthstone instead of magic there probably is going to be a new a new set released pretty soon because this game's been out for like for about two months now uh so we're kind of expecting a new set and maybe it's Maybe it's the new set gets released with, um, maybe it gets released whenever the full game gets released. You're covered. Unclear. Well, that's unfortunate. That makes my Vile Feast worse, though. I'm just doing this right now so I have this 1-1 one, one to jump block with. In the name of um, Eat up, friend. This would be four creatures dying for Thresh. Means you see six units die. One, two, three, four. I want this box to be able to kill two things. Do you think it's possible they play two creatures that die to the box? I see a that doesn't die. So the answer is no. Skitter was a good draw, though. No, not Protégé. Uh, Protégé doesn't die to the box. So the reason why I'm casting that right there is so we level up Thresh. So now the next Thresh that we play will be leveled up. We have that extra Thresh in our hands. now and forever. Well, that forever is going to be in the graveyard. Cool. Josh says he's been playing for about a week and already has a tier 1 deck. So there you go. Like you're going being pretty far behind right now. Uh, 
Not so sure about this two steps ahead thing. Boom. Thresh is leveled up, so we attack with Thresh. We get a Karma. And there we go. Seven and three. So seven and three is still a very good record. You know, 70% win rate. Definitely still very good. I finished a smooth 67th rank today. Good rank up Sunday. We started today 331. And after we went five and five, we were in like six the 600s. And then a couple of couple nine ones and then a seven three and we finished 67th we got up to number seven that was the highest that we got uh we started 4-0 i think with the deck and finished you know three three and i was definitely getting a little worn out there towards the end these are these are difficult games like this not only just this deck but just this this game in general and you know we're having stressful ones here at masters trying to win as many as possible um, so, you know, it's taxing, but, um, but awesome. Good, good rank up day today. All right. Uh, so we'll go post this up on YouTube. Those of y'all in the chat, this is the YouTube channel. If you want to see any of the replays, I am going to need to try to train Harvey somehow to stop scratching this. Um, but those y'all on YouTube now, I hope you uh, hit that like button on the video and leave a comment. The likes and comments help spread the videos. Um, so please do each of those. I'd really appreciate it. Um, you know, for as, you know, comments, you know, let me know how the deck's going for you. If you're trying it out yourself, I don't think I'd want to change anything. Honestly, I, I like the, the 75 or the six, the 40, <laughs> there we go. If you're used to this, so the, I like the 40 cards that we're playing here not 75 anymore uh it's a good list i like the i like the one the box i like the one twin disciplines it was quite good for us the one health potion was good for us um even the one vengeance i like i like everything that we got going on here all right but there we go that's karma thresh control so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video